Let's begin with the pattern pieces that I'll be working with. We have the front and back pattern. We also have a piping for both front and back neckline and a piping for armhole to the upper chest, armhole to the upper chest, both pieces. So it will be two pieces front and back, two pieces for the liner piping for the front and back neckline and two pieces for the underarm and the chest area neckline. So let's begin. Here we have the front neckline and the back neckline. I peeled the liner on to both front and back. I'm going to stitch all the way from one end to the next on both ends. Once you're, fin you're finished stitching, you're going to cut half of whatever your seam allowance is, cut that off when you're done stitching. Then you're going to fold it over. and flat stitch the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead now and flat stitch this down and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, here we have the finished neckline. So I did both necklines, front and the back. This is the front and this is the back. Also, I pinned the strap on so you could see what I did. So right here, I pinned right side facing wrong side all the way over. I pinned it down. I'm going to stitch all the way here. Then half of this I'm going to cut off. When, I'm, when I cut that, it will be able the reason why you're cutting it is because it's gonna be like this length so it'll be easy for this to go over turn in and you just stitch it down and that's gonna give you this look also what I did the length of the strap comes all the way here so you're just gonna go ahead stitch it down when you're folding it over you're just going to fold this in also and just stitch all the way till you get to the other side and do the same like the front so exactly how you pin the front and stitch it that's what that's how you're going to pin the back here and stitch it down so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then i'll be back to show you exactly how it looks So now that I've finished piping the underarm armholes and neckline on both pieces, neckline, underarm chest area, and the strap, I also place two dots on the front blouse. So after you've done that, you're now going to turn it over line them up together and you're going to stitch down here, stitch down here, and you're also going to hem, put a quarter inch hem in the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch the sides and hem it, and that will be the finished up. And here we 
have the finished top. I stitched everything and I hemmed quarter inch hem on the bottom and I purposely did the back a little longer than the front that's why it looks uneven below it's longer and this is what it looks like this is the back and this is the front.